that's me. So are you new to filming? I am, I've only been doing it for about a year. But one of the first things that everybody tells you when you're starting to film is you've got to have better sound. If your video sounds like crap, nobody's gonna listen to it. So what do you gotta do? You gotta get a microphone. And just about anybody is gonna tell you the first microphone you gotta get, it's this guy. Little guy, 60 bucks, comes with a dead cat, knocks out the wind. Phenomenal little microphone. But I got to thinking, is it the only choice? Is it the best choice? Well, sure, I can go spend three, four, five hundred dollars and get a different shotgun microphone. But for 60 bucks, this is a pretty good value. But for a while, it was also the only value. Guess what? There's another microphone out there. We've got one. We're going to try it out and tell you all about it. Roll that new intro. Christmas. You just got a brand new camera for Christmas. Congratulations. It's so shiny. It's so pretty. I can't wait to film. I'm going to go out. I'm going to film my kids. I'm going to film some skateboarders. I'm going to film sports. I'm going to go home. I'm going to put that memory card in my computer. I'm going to listen to it and I'm going to be... Oh! Yeah, sounds pretty bad straight out of the camera. Trust me. We've all been there. And we realized the first thing we should have done when we got our camera was buy a memory card. Second thing we should have done was buy a microphone. Today, we're gonna to talk about a couple of those options. The Rode Video Micro, the Ceremonic V-Mic Mini. That's what we're talking about. Sound is so important for your videos. I learned it the hard way. It's, it's bad. You cannot listen to a lot of videos from a lot of people on YouTube. And I'm not trying to bring you down. I'm not trying to say you need to spend a lot of money, but holy cow, invest in some audio. If you're new to making videos, a lot of people get steered in the same direction, and that's towards the Rode Video Micro. That guy has been on so many cameras and has been a part of so much good quality amateur filmmaking. My stuff's not good quality amateur stuff, but I'm learning and I'm trying to get better at it. But if I was starting out today, I would have another option other than the Rode Video Micro, and I happen to have that microphone today. So what is this alternative to the Rode Video Micro? The one that nobody's talking about? It's this guy, right here. This is the Ceremonic V-Mic Mini. Sound, remarkable. Actually found this at Best Buy, 60 bucks. Same price as the Rode Video Micro. Same concept, on-camera shotgun, compact size, can go and do a lot of things. The technical aspects of this, not going to go into. If you're a techie, if you're an audiophile, you're probably not going to be using one of these anyway. You're probably going to be going up into the higher classes. But if you're new, and if you're learning, and if you're trying to get your feet underneath you, you're looking for alternatives. You're looking for options. This is a good option. You're listening to it right now. All of my other videos have been done with the Video Micro. This one's being done with this Ceremonic V-Mic Mini. What's going to happen is I'm going to do a clip of the onboard microphone on the Fuji X-T3. Then I'm gonna do a clip of the video micro. And then I'm gonna do a clip of this Ceramonic. Now again, this is being done on a Fuji X-T3. Not a lot of people have Fujis. Most people have Nikons or Sonys or Canons. I have a Canon. I have two Canons. I have a Canon SL2 and a Canon M50. If you wanna hear what it's like inside of the Canons, drop a note. Drop a line down below in the comments section. I'll be happy to do another video where you can hear all three, in camera, video micro, ceremonic, back to back to back, unedited and edited, so you can find out if it's gonna work for you. Now, I don't know what it's gonna sound like in a Sony, I don't know what it's gonna sound like in a Nikon, I don't know what it's gonna sound like in a super high-end camera. I can only offer you information based on the equipment that I have. And right now, we're shooting this video on the new X-T3, video will come about that later. But, I wanna give you a chance to hear what it sounds like, so, Let's get on with the test. This is a test of the Fuji X-T3 internal microphone, unedited. This is a test of the Fuji X-T3 internal microphone, unedited. This is a test of the Fuji X-T3 internal microphone, with edit. This is a test of the Fuji X-T3 internal microphone, 
with edit. This is a test of the Fuji X-T3 with the V-Mic Mini unedited. This is a test of the Fuji X-T3 with the V-Mic 3 unedited. This is a test of the Fuji X-T3 with the V-Mic Mini edited. This is a test of the Fuji X-T3 V-Mic Mini edited. This is a test of the Fuji X-T3 with the Rode Video Micro unedited. This is a test of the Fuji X-T3 with the Rode Video Micro unedited. This is a test of the Fuji X-T3 with the Rode Video Micro edited. This is a test of the Fuji X-T3 with the Rode Video Micro with an edit. Are you an iPhone shooter? Well, if you get the Rode Video Micro, you gotta buy an adapter. It's an extra 15 bucks, and all of a sudden the cost has gone up. That adapter is gonna come with a ceremony. It's a nice little perk, it's a nice little bonus. But there's a downside. It doesn't come with a furry dead cat. That dead cat is critical if you do outside shooting and you're gonna have wind in it. The wind noise on a video is the first thing that will turn people off. If they hear wind, they're just gonna click on another video. Wind is so annoying. Because most people watch their videos with headphones and wind noise in a video in headphones is appalling. Might as well be nails on a chalkboard. So you gotta make sure you block out the wind. So the Rode Video Micro is gonna come with that. Ceremonic's gonna come with a foam one. Not quite the same, not quite as effective, but at least you get something. Now, you can always buy others, you can adapt them, but just know that, that in the Rode Video Micro, you will get the furry cat, you will not get the iPhone adapter, Ceremonic, you get the adapter, no furry cat. So, something to think about. By the way, since we did the test, we have switched over to the Rode Video Micro, so that's the audio, you, audio you've been hearing since then. Take it for what you will, take any information you can get out of this. I hope it helps you out. If it did help you and you found it useful, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below. It's so important to the channel. It absolutely makes a difference to people like me who are really small channels just trying to get their videos out there to people. If you like this kind of content and you want to see more of it, make sure you subscribe. On this channel, we do a lot of family stuff. Last few videos have been tech, review, tech reviews, tech gear type stuff. It's kind of something I want to do here in the new year's 2020 approaches is really go over some of the stuff that I use, some of the stuff I'm trying out, and stuff that can help make you a better family filmmaker. That's really all I am, is trying to document my family's life in and out around St. Augustine, Florida. And I hope that maybe somebody can get something out of it, wherever you are, whether it be Florida, California, Ireland, Australia, I don't care. I just want to be able to help you out. And I hope that my videos can do that. If they inspire you to make videos, even better.